Welcome, it's Nevada, and today we have for you the Rickenbacker 4003. This is a Jack Low model, or the Jack Low finish. We have one, the fabled, the legendary, one of a kind 4003. Uh, up there with the best. Fender Precisions, Fender Jazz Basses, Rickenbacker 4003, probably one of the most identifiable, base, identifiable basses we've seen in the last 50, 60 years, 70 years, since the bass was born, probably. Everybody's seen seen the Rickenbacker and those are famous for the massive great big chunks of metal they've got on there, uh, one over the, pi the bridge pickup, the bridge itself and uh, just the distinctive looks that we've got as well, um, modelled after I believe the, a, a, a cresting wave uh, that we've got there, some nice smooth lines. <laughs> You can do pretty much whatever you want on it. Uh, you can slap it if you want to. It's not what you'd think you could slap with, but you can do it. Uh, it's a pick bass, it's a finger bass, uh, it's a whatever you want kind of bass. Uh, you've got loads of punchy, growly mids in there, uh, loads of smooth bottom end as well. Um, coupled with the fact that you've got a three way selected switch. Uh, so we've got <coughs> bridge pickup, which is nice and raunchy, really growly. Uh, we've got mid position, which is both pickups on. It tends to sound a bit more scooped, um, so uh, that's where you can get your sort of more funkier sounds if you want. And then we've got the neck pickup as well, which is a really plummy kind of sound, close to precision. Um, but I like to describe it as a sort of chocolatey kind of sound. It's really thick uh, and really smooth as well, quite a dense kind of sound. Um, perfect for your Paul McCartney's, uh, uh, who want that sort of really thick kind of sound. Now something that uh, Rickenbacker have brought out uh, as of, I think, a couple of years ago now, um, they have brought in the push pull pot. Uh, what that enables you to do is go back to the original 70s sound of the, of, of, uh, the 4003. Uh, what that does is it actually, uh, I believe it, puts back in uh, a, a capacitor into the circuit, uh, which thins the sound out, so it takes a lot of the bottom end out. Um, so you get that traditional, traditional Rickenbacker sound as well. Push it back in, and you've got a more modern sound. Uh, this is the sound that I'm used to from my rig that I used to have. Uh, this is before they, in, they had this, back, this switch back in there. Um, so it gives you a full, more modern kind of sound. Gives you the lows as well. In the out position, uh, you've got quite a few options you can use for it. As you can see on the bottom, we have uh, two jacks. So we've got a, a mono jack, which is both pickups wide to the mono jack. And we've also got a stereo jack as well, uh, which is for the bridge. For the sorry, for the neck pickup. What they allow you to do is send the bridge pickup to one amp and the neck pickup to another amp as well. Uh, so, for instance, Chris Squire would have taken it to a possibly a guitar amp, I believe, and also a bass amp. Uh, it means you can treat both signals independently. Uh, with that switch in the out position, you've got a nice combination of bright and raunchy, uh, coupled with that thick, real deep sort of sound. Uh, taken with those two outputs, you can have pretty much any sort of sound you want, really. Um, and that's it, pretty much, I think. That's the Rickenbacker in all its, all its glory. You either love it or you don't. Uh, Lemmy's of the world, the Chris Squires of the world, the Paul McCartney's of the world. They can't all be wrong. So here we have it, the Rickenbacker 4003. Now in stock. Come down and try it out. <laughs>